this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. If you share your computer system with others, then you may have a need to password protect your personal files or folders. There are many softwares that do this job well, but the method that I'm going to share works well without using any third party software. To learn more, watch this video. This process works on Windows 7, XP, Vistas and Windows 8. I've got this folder by the name uninstall a program from Windows on my desktop. Let me show you how to password protect the same. The first step that I need to take is open a new folder and save it on my desktop. Let me name it as test folder. Right click on this test folder and create a text document. Don't name this or rename this document. Next step is to copy a code which is given in the description below. I've got it on my notepad and paste it in this new text document. If you look carefully in this complex code, you will see if not percent pass percent is equal to this is the place to enter new password. I'm naming this folder as James underscore bond 007. This is the password that I want to use. Go to file and save this file as you can give any name to this file. I am naming it as locker.bat. Don't give it a txt extension and save it. Now double click on this bat file that I have just renamed as locker. Immediately you will see a folder by the name private. What you need to do is copy this folder and bring it into the private folder. Go back and now again double click on this locker bat file. This time it's asking you, are you sure you want to lock the folder? Type Y and press enter. Immediately after doing this, you will see that private folder has disappeared. After this, delete this new text document while it has got nothing inside it now. Okay. Let's see this folder on my desktop test folder. It has only got the locker bat file. Just open this and it will ask you to enter the password. This will not allow access to the folder unless the right password is entered. Let me enter James underscore bond underscore 008 and enter. It will not show the folder that we had password protected. Let me now enter the correct password James underscore bond 007 and enter. I can see this private folder back. Just open the folder and you will find the original folder that you had password protected right into this private folder. If there are multiple users of a computer system, then only an admin can follow this process. You may be wondering what to do if you yourself forget the password that you had put. Don't worry, there's an easy solution to that as well. Go to that bat file, right click on it and go to edit. You will see the password that you had entered here. You can change the password or in fact, you can also see the password and open the folder that you had protected. Let's say if you decide to change the password, I am moving this from James underscore bond to James bond without a space. Don't forget to go to file and click on save and cancel. Now the new password James bond 007 without any underscore in between will apply. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.